Welcome to the Excited Bull Random Talk. I'm Kim, and I'm coming to you from Norman, Oklahoma, where I live with my fiance Jason, our three dogs, and a bunch of family. Thank you for joining me for this episode. And if you like this episode, like and subscribe down below. I do TV talks, movie talks, book talks, and crafty time talks. So there's always something going on around here. This is my first random talk. I was thinking about it some more, and I was thinking about it some more, and I was thinking about it some more. I think too much. Uh, and I was like, this would be a really good new format for me. By the way, I think my camera is slightly tilted, so if I look crooked, sorry. Uh, this would be a really good new format for me. So Random Talk will be a place where I talk about what I'm in the middle of. If I'm mid-book, if I'm mid-season in a show, um, you know, just something I'm in the middle of but I'm not done. I can't do a full review of yet as well as just whatever life stuff I decide I want to share with the internet, you guys, uh, and all of your glory. So this will be a lot more vlog style type episodes. So if you see Random Talk, no, you're not really going to get a lot of crafty stuff. You might get some book, you might get some talk, uh, some show. Probably not going to get a lot of movie and craft because craft, I'm still going to keep the same format with finished objects and wits going into crafty time because that's all part of that um and movies I mean how often are you midway through a movie at least for me I tend to finish start and finish movies in one sitting so that's just not probably going to come in much here um since I won't be talking about it probably in crafty time because we're going to try and put it here in random talk my mug Look at the cuteness. This was a gift. Oh, it's only right there. I thought it went all around. Uh, this was a gift from my mom a bajillion Christmases ago. I don't know. Like six Christmases ago? Something like that. I think it's like a Starbucks. I think she gave it to me with some tea. Um, that has all gone, you know, at this point. This was forever ago. Uh, and in here now is Lemon Lift can't remember the brand, but it's just a generic decaf black tea because we are kicking the soda habit again, you guys. We are going to kick it. God damn it. Oh, freaking soda. I have quit cigarettes. I quit all kinds of different things. I've stopped drinking for the, like alcohol for the most part. And soda has been the hardest thing to kick. I think because if you talk about trying to quit soda, everybody's like, oh, it's soda, it's not that bad for you, yeah, da, 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 da. or, you know, they say it's bad for you, but you can still drink it. Da, da. I'm not a halfway person when it comes to things I'm hooked on, like soda. I can't have one every once in a while. Because what keeps happening is I keep quitting soda, I'm really good, I don't have any for months and months and months and months and months. And then we're out or we're somewhere or at somebody's house and somebody's like, oh, have a soda. It's, you know, it's a special occasion. And I'm like, oh, why not? Okay, I'll have one. And then I have one. And I'm like, okay, I'm fine. And then like a day later, I'm like, oh, I really want a soda. I gotta go get a soda. And I'm like, or maybe I go a couple days. I'm like, yeah, okay, see, I'm fine. I can totally do this where I just have one every once in a while. And I'm fine, see, yeah. And then before I know it, I'm having one every day. I don't know exactly how it happens, but somehow I spiral out and I end up drinking all the sodas. So we're kicking it again. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. So tea. Back to tea. <sighs> all right. Now that we've rambled through all of that, um, I didn't write down the date. Uh, I think it's... May, it is, it's May 5th, it's Cinco de Mayo, because yesterday was May 4th, May the 4th be with you. 
I am a much bigger Star Wars fan than I am a Cinco de Mayo fan, but fan, I don't know, it's, um, I saw a video on it, I guess we as Americans always kind of talk about Cinco de Mayo as if it's Mexico's Independence Day, but I guess it's actually a celebration of a battle that took place during the Civil War in Mexico that turned back some of the enemies of America, one of the sides of America. I don't know. History's not my strong suit. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to Google that some more. I want to know. Um, but yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Random. So, we will jump into what I am in the middle of. I am in the middle of, book-wise, Chronicles of Crystal Mancy, Volume 2, by Diana Wynne-Jones. This includes The Magicians of Caprona and Witch Week. Uh, I will say, I am, you know, right in the midst of The Magicians of Caprona. It's a good story. I love the talking to cats and that like cats talk and cats are magic and that's always been fun, you know. Anybody who reads a lot of witchcrafty type books, cats are prominent. <laughs> so, and I like cats, so I don't have any right now, but I've all, I used to have cats when I was younger. Miss her. Uh, we can't have a cat now because of one of our dogs is very not cat friendly. So, yeah. Eventually I'll have a cat again. Anyway, I am so rambly. This was maybe a good day to do the random talk. Maybe a bad day to do the random talk. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's good. I'm hoping to maybe get through the Magicians of Caprona. Which is here. Let's see how many pages I have. I have about 200, a little less than 200 pages until I am done with the Magicians of Corona and starting Witch Week and Chronicles of Christomancy. I enjoy it. Uh, I love Diana Wynne Jones. Her humor is fantastic. It always makes me laugh. Uh, the other book I'm in the middle of is my audiobook. I will pop a picture in. Of the cover here. It is Acceptance by Jeff Vandermeer and it is the third book in the Southern Reach trilogy. I'm really digging this series you guys. It's totally different than anything I'm used to because even stories where they don't maybe spell everything out and give you all the backstory in one go, you still know what's going on. I'm in the third book and I still don't 100% know what's going on. <laughs> so it's very interesting format. I'm really enjoying it, but it definitely is different. I'm intrigued to see how it ends. I'm, I have four hours left in it. It's not much left. I'll probably knock some of it out this weekend while I do some housework since I discovered during Dewey's 24 hour readathon that putting on my noise canceling headphones and putting in an audiobook and then doing housework is the shit. I am so much more productive, so much less likely to get distracted because like I'm just zeroed in on what I'm doing and I'm listening. So great. Um, TV. So I'm in the in TV. I am in the middle of a lot of seasons. So we have Marvel's Agents of Shield. I am so much more enjoying this season than last season. We're dealing with the time paradox stuff, which is always a little like, ugh. Because, I mean, it's the biggest problem with any time travel storyline is your time travel paradoxes. It's still been pretty good. I am really interested to see how they finish out the season, especially in correlation with Avengers of Infinity War and how that ends. I'm not going to spoil it, but... They did make a reference in one of the more recent episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to what is going... As if what's happening right now in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is happening simultaneously to what is happening in Avengers Infinity War. So, in theory, 
the season finale of a shield should be around the same timeline wise as the end of infinity war and if you've seen both you know what i'm getting at so i'm not going to go any further than that but i'm intrigued to see what they do with it i really am <coughs> excuse me uh and intrigued slash scared anyway uh the other one i am in the middle of is another marvel show it is legion holy shit you guys they took all the acid, all the shrooms, something. They went all kinds of crazy with this season. I'm loving it, slash feeling like maybe this is one of those shows I shouldn't watch week to week because it's so much harder to keep track of all the madness. It's good madness, but it's good madness. But we have already agreed, me and Jason, that at the end of season two, we're gonna rewatch all of season one and all of season two and one go and hopefully be able to like put more pieces together because there's a lot going on. I uh, am three or four episodes into The Expanse on Sci-Fi Channel. Oh god it's such a classic sci-fi story and I'm just digging the crap out of it. Um, after I finish the Southern Reach trilogy I really think I'm going to try and get a Levi Leviathan Awakes, Leviathan Awakes, uh, which is the first book in the series that the show is based off of. Now I know Sci-Fi Channel does not have the best track record with taking book material and transfer transforming it in a literal sense into the TV show. I know. I just, I think the books will be awesome, so I want to give them a go. I will try very hard, and it's usually easier for me if I watch the TV show first to keep them totally separate. Book here, show here, and not get all hung up on why they don't match. But the show's been really good. I find the accent, the variety of accents they try, intriguing. I love Alex's southern cowboy drawl and that he's from Mars and I don't know it just it makes my heart happy for some reason but I really like that show if you're into sci-fi like just standard true sci-fi the basic premise being that earth has both colonized Mars we have a colony on Mars we also have kind of colony worlds that live in the asteroid belt that mine the asteroid belt for water for ice it's called belters so you have earth you have mars and you have the belters and they've become their own entities they each have their own governing systems now um and of course we're human so we start fighting between the three factions of earth belters and mars and then you throw in an alien element. I'm not going to say much more than that because I want you to watch the show if you haven't. It's good. Uh, and then last but not least is Big Bang Theory slash Young Sheldon. I am further along in Young Sheldon. I think I'm caught up to all but one episode. Big Bang Theory, I think I'm three episodes behind. Because I follow, oh, my, um... I can't remember her last name. I know it starts with a B. Uh, the girl who plays Amy Farrah Fowler, as anybody maybe knows, also known as Blossom, as she still is in my head. Um, I enjoy her a lot, so I follow her on Instagram, and I follow her Grok Nation YouTube channel, and a few other places she is. So I've seen some images, some spoiler images, of Amy Farrah Fowler's wedding dress, but I haven't actually seen the episode yet. So I'm really stoked. I want to watch that hopefully soon. We're not yet in the middle of Westworld, but season two's out. Holy shit. Um, we're really hoping that we'll get some time Sunday or Monday evening to get caught up on the first two or three episodes of the new season. Oh god, I can't wait to see what they do with that. Can't wait. So freaking excited. As I said, probably not going to have a lot of men movies, but I do have a movie that is on my to watch list that I have currently downloaded on the on demand. Hopefully we'll get some time to watch soon. 
which was the Hitman's Bodyguard with Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. I'm a giant Ryan Reynolds fan. If that hasn't come out on the YouTube channel yet, it's out. I I adore him. I, I'm a huge Ryan Reynolds fan. I find him funny. I find him charming. I find him attractive, if we're just going to go that way. Anyway, <laughs> on that note, we also have tickets to see Deadpool 2. That is in two weeks. So we will have an episode up about that in about two weeks. So excited. All right. And now just general kind of what's up with me. So last week, last week I turned 30. Yay, 30. I didn't, everybody was really worried, I think, that I was going to have some sort of crisis. I don't know if you even call this 30s midlife anymore. I think it's still quarter life. I didn't have any crisis of conscience, anything like that. We had a great time. Me and Jason drove oh, like 4,000 miles for my birthday. We drove from here in Norman to Denver up to Wyoming and through the Grand Tetons National Park, which, oh my God, you guys, if you haven't seen the Grand Tetons, you need to go. And I will highly recommend this time, or April was a great time in my opinion. I haven't been at any other time, but they had had a blizzard come through the week before. So all of the mountains were beautifully covered in white, white, white snow. And, but it was still nice enough out. Like I think I was wearing a hoodie and a knit hat. So it really wasn't cold. Oh, and it was so beautiful. Like we're driving through and they have a couple little towns that are next to the national park. You know, they're kind of tourist traps, but maybe, I don't know. We didn't actually stop at them. So they may be beautiful towns, but you know, we started <laughs> doing those daydreams of like, I wonder what it'd be like to live here. And you could see they had like a little airport and you're like, well, yeah, because the mountain pass is this is like a valley and you have these huge mountains all around you. So you'd have to fly stuff in, especially in the dead of winter. It was cool. Anyway, so we drove through there. We went, got out of there. We went into Idaho and then into Oregon. And then we took Oregon all the way up until we met up the Columbia River, followed the Columbia River in and stopped in Vancouver, Washington to visit my mom and my stepdad and my grandma and my aunt and two cousins and their associated spouses. It was fantastic. Uh, I loved getting to see everybody. I picked up, you'll see more of it in crafty time, but I picked up some locally dyed yarn because I'm me and I couldn't help myself. And it was, it was just a great visit. And I really enjoyed being up there and getting to, Jason got to see the ocean for the first time. It was so awesome, you guys. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. And then we drove back and we drove back straight through. So we didn't actually stop and get a hotel on the way back. We stopped, um, we just switched off sleeping with my noise canceling headphones and some white noise machine. The only thing we were missing is we should have brought like a sleep mask because the lights were a little hard to sleep with sometimes, but we just kind of threw a blanket over our heads and we were good. Uh, but yeah, so like Jason would sleep for like four hours and I would drive and then I would sleep for like four hours and then Jason would drive and vice versa until we got home. It took us about a day and a half. Um, one second, I'm going to pause. Uh, it was really great that Jason got to see the ocean. Jason got to see the mountains he had never seen. It's the furthest west he's ever been. It was just phenomenal. It was a great time. By the way, the pause was, uh, as we're talking about the northwest, I had to turn my air conditioning and my ceiling fan on because it's like 86 today and I'm burning up in my room. I have like the door shut and keep the beasties out. Anywho, uh, and then, yes, we drove back, 
all that. It was like a six or seven, I think it was a seven day, six night trip. It was a really great birthday gift to myself. The only other, like, I got some money and some cards and some really sweet things. Like, I'm not discounting any of those little gifts, and I really appreciate everybody who gave me a gift, and I will be getting thank you cards out soon. I'm awful. I'm sorry. The other thing, though, that I got that's kind of big is my dad bought me these. They are Birkenstock Londons. You guys, they're so exciting. I've been wearing them pretty much nonstop since I got them Thursday evening. I am in love. They're so comfortable. They make my feet feel like they have room to spread out, which is fantastic. Um, some bunion. <laughs> Speaking of turning, already, let's talk about bunion. I have that, which if you don't know, bunion is where, let's so say these are toes and not fingers, right? So you wear really small shoes and they squish your toes together. And so your big toe will sometimes go under or sometimes go over your second toe. And then this joint gets kind of angry about that because you have the, now we're gonna pretend this is the toe bone and this is the foot bone. You have where they meet, right? Well, now you're, we're gonna go this way. Now you're jamming the toe out of true. And so this joint starts popping out that way. Hurts really bad. It's not fun. Okay, that was a very scientific uh, description of bunions. But basically they're really uncomfortable and they come from not having enough room in the toe area. And so as you can see with these, they have a really wide toe, which is fantastic. I can already feel such a difference in how my feet feel after wearing them for a day at work. I came back to Norman, we worked for a couple days, did Dewey's 24 hour readathon, and then jumped into a new diet of low carb, low sugar, and less meat, and jumped into work. All of that to say, this week I've been feeling a little wrung out, burnt out, overwrought, I don't know. Um, I don't know the word for it. It's kind of a feeling of so much to do that you have no idea how you'll ever get it all done. I don't, I don't know. They're overwhelmed. I don't know. It's, it's good because it means I, you know, did a lot and I just felt like really go, go, go. But I'm coming down off of it kind of, you know, uh, so I'm trying this weekend to kind of get everything back onto an even kilter. I'm going to get the podcast, I'm going to get all my episodes filmed, and I'm going to get them edited so that this week I can put them up for you guys at regular intervals like I normally do. I haven't quite figured out the schedule yet. I think Random Talk is going to go up Sunday. Crafty Time will go up. Monday? Yeah, that'd be nice on Mondays. And then books, movies, and TV will kind of just go up throughout the rest of the week as I have content. Some weeks, you know, I don't really have anything for those kinds of episodes. It's rare that I have nothing, but sometimes it happens. Okay, you guys, this was a lovely random rambling random talk um let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of new format where i won't be posting like a, i started this book but i don't have anything to tell you guys yet i'll be putting those things here um let me know any topics you want to talk about like i don't know just general life stuff craft stuff book stuff whatever like i'll talk about most things obviously if you ask me something super fucking personal I'm not going to even respond because, come on. But I'll talk about a lot of stuff. So put a comment down below, whatever. Uh, until next time, I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Get a little random in your life. Makes everything better. Bye, y'all.